Sundarvan, the largest delta in the world with unique ecosystem in one side and hard toiling inhabitants on the other, confronting with vagaries of nature for their livelihood. Inland fisheries sector has the capacity of generating livelihood for the downtrodden people. Dry fish production is one of such activities in winter months in Sundarvan. Bean jars, the migratory stationary bagnet units, are frequently operated in coastal Sundarvans in winter season for harvesting of fishes. Out of these fishes, dry fish is prepared, which is mainly comprised of Bombay duck, Pasa, Raven fish. Pama Pama, Amudi, and shrimps. Transitory winter fishing camps, known as Khutis, are established in Fraserkan, Khalistan, Sagar Island, and Kagdip areas for drying of these fishes. Fish drying during November to February is a potent additional source of livelihood to the populace of Sundarvan. Sun drying is the simplest and most ancient method of preserving fish. The procedure involves are bringing the catches of bagnet to the fishing camp and then stacking. Then the fishes are spread over a bamboo mat. The shorters sit together in a group. They take bamboo knives for shorting the fishes. The fishes are sorted according to species and on the basis of size. After sorting, each species are spread separately on the sandy courtyard covered with a bed made by straw. For some species, loft is prepared for better drying. After drying, the dried fishes are packed into jute bags and keep in temporary storehouse. The bags are transported to the cities like Guwahati, Tripura and exported to the countries like Bangladesh. Sorting and drying generally performed by the omen worker using traditional know-how. Modern methods, hygienic handling and preparation of diversified fish product, self-hygiene are not familiar to them. Catching of small fishes through migratory bagnets are also not ecologically sound. Fishing is one of the important livelihood of the Sundarvan areas. Again, the excess fish that are available goes for the drying and which subsequently served as a economy as well as their fish food. For that, we must take a utmost care how much rural women and the Sundarban people are dependent upon fishing. For that, this component of study was initiated. ICR Sifri has taken up the challenge to fill up the technological gap and sustainable fisheries development through informal education and training packages in Sundarban without affecting adversely the livelihood of the toiling fishermen.